Hi, my name is Candace Smith. I am 34 years old and I am from North Carolina. I just want to give you a briefing of my journey with breast cancer. I began my journey the end of February. I came home from the gym one night and happened to feel something that just didn't feel right. I had told my husband, I told my family, and I told my doctor, who all thought I was crazy because I've always been a hypochondriac, but I have always been in tune with my body and I have always known when something is not right. So I didn't take no for an answer. I went to my doctor. Um, I, being 34 years old, a lot of times they don't want to do mammograms if you're under 40. So she recommended I have an ultrasound. Um, the ultrasound did indeed show something. So they decided to go ahead and do a mammogram the same day. I was called back in three days later. And at the time I was by myself and was told that I have DCIS, which is a very common form of breast cancer. It was very early stages, so it was a grade zero. So it didn't call for any treatments or anything like that, which I'm very blessed for. With DCIS, I could have chosen to do a lumpectomy and done radiation, or I could have done a double mastectomy and not have to do the radiation. I chose the double mastectomy route just for the reason because there's seven people in my family that have had breast cancer, and I didn't want to have to hear the words later that it has returned in the other side or it's came back. So I felt like that was preventative measures for me. Um, I also had the um, genetic testing done to determine if I was at risk of ovarian cancer or anything like that. Luckily, I was not. So I feel very blessed in that regard. Things that I wish I had known before breast cancer was that you hear about this new normal that you have. Um, and I'm trying to find that new normal. I don't know that there is such a thing um, as a new normal. I think you just have to live every day as it's your last day. You have to have faith, you have to have perseverance, and you have to believe in yourself. Um, I have struggled more mentally than I have physically. The gym has always been my scapegoat and I've not been able to work out as much as I used to, which is very hard on me. Um, I do work out, but of course I'm not as hardcore as I used to be. I used to lift super heavy weights and you know, it was a great stress reliever and I'm not able to do that now, but I'm just blessed that I am here and able to share my story with others and hopefully will help save another young life. Um, you know, I chose the double mastectomy and you know, everybody's made comments was well, a chance to get new boobs. Um, I just want to say that, you know, having a double mastectomy and reconstructive surgery is definitely not a boob job. Um, they look okay, you know, they look decent, but they're not mine and uh, they're not perfect by any means. So those of you that, you know, make comments, well, you can get new boobs. Yes, you can, but you know, they're not, um, exactly what I would call boobs. Um, life is a journey. It's a, it's a blessing every single day. Um, there's so many young women being diagnosed with breast cancer each and every day. It's very scary. And I want people to know that, you know, you can't blame yourself. Um, I have always ate healthy. I have worked out. I've taken very good care of myself and I still got cancer at 34 years old. For me, it was genetic. It ran in my family. You know, seven people with breast cancer, that's pretty much a guarantee that I was going to be a carrier. But there's other people that, you know, have never had any cancer run in their family. I think the important thing is just to be in tune with your body and to know when something's not right and don't take no for an answer. Life is so short and we're never guaranteed anything. My mental capacity has just been shot since... I found out I had cancer, which it is very new to me. Had a double mastectomy April 1st. Um, big April Fool's joke, I wish it was. Um, and then I had my reconstructive surgery July 17th after having expanders. The expanders were the most uncomfortable thing I have ever had in my entire life and I wish I had known that as well, just to prepare myself. Um, you know, every day is a blessing. You know, I'm able to work out some now and 
that does help relieve stress and relieve tension a lot. But I still worry. You know, you hear about um, people having metastatic cancer, you know, and it coming back in other areas. And that's my biggest fear. You know, and I, and I hope that that lessens with time. Um, but I think once you hear the words, you have cancer, you're never the same again. You know, you look at trees differently. You look at the environment differently. You look at people differently. You look at everything differently and you learn to appreciate each and every day and every little moment. If the birds wake you up in the morning or, or a barking dog wakes you up in the morning, it doesn't make you mad. You're, you're glad that you're given another day. Um, and for me, it's been a huge mental struggle. Like, I wish I had known the mental struggle that I was going to have um, going into this. Leading up to my surgery, I was very strong. I was very independent. I was very, um, I had my faith. You know, I had my family. I had my friends. I worked out. I worked all the time. You know, I was like a ninja. Uh, so I didn't really think about it. But after surgery, I started really, it really hit me. Candace, you've had cancer, and it, you know, I, I just can't get it out of my head now, you know, and I just think that the important thing is that we live our lives to the extreme every day. If you want to do something, do it, because you may not have another opportunity. Do what makes you happy. I am doing some work with uh, the American Cancer Society and with some nonprofit organizations to raise awareness. And I hope to see a cure for cancer one day, not just breast cancer, but all cancers. That is my goal in life. Uh, before I move on to the afterlife, is to be able to see that. I've had so many young friends in their late 20s, early 30s being diagnosed with cancer, and it's very scary. You didn't used to hear younger women being diagnosed. So I'm telling you, if you're 19, 20 years old, you still need to be doing your screenings. You're never too young to start. If you feel anything that doesn't feel right, go to the doctor immediately, no matter how small or how crazy it may seem, um, because you never know. Our lives have changed so much, and I think a lot of it is environmental. The air we breathe, the water we drink, just take care of yourself, you know. And uh, the biggest thing for me has been um, the mental struggle of having cancer. I never realized how much of a mental struggle it would be. And I have good days and I have bad days. And on my bad days, I just want to lay in the bed and cry sometimes. Um, even though I'm blessed and I'm cancer free, everything hit me so fast. I was diagnosed the end of February, surgery April 1st, surgery again July 17th. And uh, you know, it's still fresh because we're, in, we're almost in September. But just take care of yourself, be aware of your bodies, be in tune with your bodies. I know I'm going to do my part. Um, I'm going to work and do all I can to spread awareness to young women all across the world. And I hope you do the same. Uh, take care of yourselves. Try to eat right, organic as much as possible. But again, it's not the foods that you eat because there's people out there who eat McDonald's every day and they're fine. So. Just take care of yourself as the best you can. Um, when you feel something that isn't right, get it checked out. Thanks for listening to my story, and I hope that I can inspire others to make sure they get their yearly screenings and their checkups, and hopefully I can save a life. Thank you.